and welcome back to LA Fish Guys. About a month ago, we set up this 400 gallon Bowfront Aquarium. In part one of this episode, we solved an unexpected and potential water pump failure by adding a check valve into the filter system's plumbing. We're now installing an algae scrubber. This will sit across the end of the wet dry trickle filter and will be supported by a tray that I had specially made. With the scrubber in place, we can now begin to connect the submersible pump's tubing to the... And now we'll uh, hook up the tubing to the inlet of the scrubber. Should be able to plug that pump in now. This is the Santa Monica brand algae scrubber. We've installed a handful of these units and from an operational standpoint, they've been rather successful. sponge before it comes in and potentially being drawn up by the pump so I don't think air bubbles would be much of a problem. And we can go ahead and put our lid on. Doesn't make too much noise. It kind of fits in fairly well. We kind of lost the area here to uh, pour water in and that may become an issue for the homeowner because this tank does go through about five gallons a week in evaporation. You may recall we installed the Aquaray brand LED light strips on the underside of the canopy. So far, they've performed well and look real good. And so as I mentioned, we've got uh, 10 damsels in the tank cycling it. Probably could have used more, but invariably you don't want damsels hanging out after the cycle's over. Or let me rephrase that, you don't want a whole bunch of damsels hanging out after the cycle's over. Homeowner's not in a big hurry. I don't think we should be in a big hurry. So 10 damsels was a comfortable number uh, to use to help cycle the tank. I'm going to go ahead and test the water today for ammonia and nitrite. For years, I was a Tetra test kit person, but for whatever reason, Tetra no longer makes a test kit. So I ended up going out and buying this API test kit. Maybe not necessarily the most accurate, but um, again, mm. Childproof cap. <laughs> As I mentioned, I'm using damselfish to cycle the aquarium. While there are instant bacteria available, we're not in a hurry. Besides, other than live rock, these live fish will introduce a plethora of various bacterias which will create a much more dynamic biological environment. Adding live rock will also introduce even more bacterias and will cycle the tank even faster. But as I mentioned, we're not in a hurry. you made your plans yet to attend the Marine Aquarium Expo this coming April 6th and 7th of 2013? This is the largest aquarium consumer trade show in North America and a destination spot for marine hobbyists and coral frag enthusiasts. 
held at the Orange County Fair and Event Center and featuring over 70 exhibitors, speakers, demonstrations, and a huge opportunity drawing. There's even a fin zone for entertaining young hobbyists. That's the Marine Aquarium Expo at the Orange County Fairgrounds this coming April 6th and 7th, Saturday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Adults $15, senior and military only $10, and kids under 12 are free. For more information, visit MarineAquariumExpo.com. I lost my hat. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Reef Hobbyist Magazine believes that our hobby, our fellow hobbyists, and the animals in our care are best served by the free distribution of quality information. Reef Hobbyist Magazine provides hobbyists with critical husbandry information with an emphasis on marine ornamental breeding efforts. Reef Hobbyist Magazine is available for free in local fish stores across the country or you can subscribe at www.reefhobbyistmagazine.com. For a limited time only, LA Fish Guys t-shirts are back. Whether it's gear for cleaning your own aquarium or one-upsmanship with your friends, these quality Hanes BVTs are 100% pre-strung cotton. My three color LA Fish Guys logos are silk screened onto the back and front chest area of the shirts. Three sizes, medium, large, and extra large. Go to LAFishGuys.com and click on the t-shirt link to order your LA Fish Guys t-shirts today. What we are testing for are ammonia and nitrite. These are two chemicals that are converted as a result of the bacteria's capability. Until the group of bacteria called nitrosomonas develops, the ammonia level will increase. Once the second set of bacteria called nitrobacter develop, the nitrite will then drop. Not until both have returned to zero will we add any additional fish. And speaking of fish, to a certain degree, I've been given permission to add almost whatever I want. Not wanting to abuse the opportunity, but definitely wanting to take full advantage of it. My plan is to add fish by families. This should significantly decrease territorialism when adding new specimens. Having started with damsels, we'll progress to clownfish, then butterfly fish, some dwarf angels, a couple of oddities, then some trigger fish, some bigger angels, and we'll finish off with a couple of big tangs. that uh, knob and the crack that occurred in it and that crack I mean this thing broke off literally the first time I was trying to tighten down uh, the canister right here so obviously they've got an issue there as far as that knobs concerned uh, supposedly some replacements are en route back to us but I was basically told by the uh, manufacturer or the the owner uh, to use a socket um, you know
And so the results of our test is it looks like we're on the downside of ammonia and way up at the peak of nitrite, which at about three weeks is where I would expect us to be. So what will happen is the ammonia will fall off uh, quite quickly down to zero. And then from there, the nitrite, which again is kind of up at the peak, may rise a little bit higher, but will ultimately fall down to zero. Once it comes down to zero, or in this case, a light blue, um, then we're ready to begin to uh, move to the next step as far as the addition of fish. But that'll probably be another couple of weeks from now. So I brought a styrofoam container in my tongs today, as well as a few select pieces from the, uh, the second batch of corals to replace some of the ones that are starting to show the brown from algae in this tank. But I think if I replace a couple of the pieces, it's just gonna make all the others look bad. So what I think I'll do is hold off and change out all those corals next week, this tank being an every two week service, the tank upstairs being an every two week service, and they're opposed to each other or alternate back and forth. One week, one tank upstairs, one week, one tank downstairs, and allows me the opportunity while I'm here to check on the opposite tank. So what I'm gonna do is get all those corals ready for next week. We'll pull all the corals out of the tank at that time and then replace them with the new set of clean corals. We'll also go through and clean the inside of the glass and we'll double check once again, see if the tank has uh, finished its cycle yet or not. Until then, we'll see you after the break.